What's up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerdcastle for the next episode of the Long Dark Challenge Mode, where we are outrunning the storm right now. Not doing a very good job of it, actually. We only have about a week's worth of food supplied, and we've already used about a week of our time up. Not on the best trajectory right now. However, that being said, there are options available. We can go out and we can hunt, which provides us with huge grips of food. We can fish. Also pretty lucrative and more like more than likely result in the acquisition of quite a bit of food. I mean, there are options in front of us. So we don't want to take this as being a Debbie Downer or whatever. I feel sorry for the Debbie that ultimately was the Debbie Downer. Like, she was actually the one. I'm going to harvest these socks. We got better socks. We got, like, wool socks, except they have, like, Kevlar armor on them or some shit. I don't know. They look like techno socks. Look, they look like like cyberpunk socks with moccasins attached to them. I don't know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But yeah, it, it worked out pretty well as far as that goes. Our gearing is really, really good right now. Like, in the middle of the daytime, we're sitting easily at 13 degrees Celsius, which I think is really, really good. We're a tiny bit tired at the moment, and there's still four hours of daylight left. That's more than likely due to the fact that in between episodes, I ended up doing... A whole bunch of crafting. Like, seriously, I did a whole bunch of repairing and crafting and moving shit around. And so that's going to come back to haunt me a little bit. With a series like this, you never know quite what to include in the overall video. Like, I could make this, like, a highly edited thing, but there's always a chance when you edit that you're going to miss out on something. And in general, I don't find editing... I never wanted to make, like, a highly edited channel. That was never a thing I wanted to do on YouTube. I just wanted to do uncut LPs because I feel like those are the best. Those are what I watch. I don't really watch any of, like, the edited channels. Like, seriously, I don't. I I stopped watching c -Nanners once he started doing tons of editing and stuff like that. I, I like unedited stuff. I don't like the things in the middle to be removed. Like, oh, God, we're jumping, you know, 30 minutes of gameplay to get to when I find a rifle, and then we jump, like, another 30 minutes of gameplay to get to the point where I've got, like, this accomplished. With building projects and stuff like that that might bore the audience, I could see doing that on my channel. But in general... That's not the type of content that I consume. That's not the type of content I find to be interesting personally, so it's not the type of content I want to make. Ooh, peanut butter. Yes, thank you. I'll probably graze off a lot of this stuff because we're actually really, really hungry right now. There's only a couple houses left on the map anyways. If we go down to the left... Ooh, yeah. Good. This place is stocked up. Hell yeah. Okay. I wasn't expecting to pull this many good things out of here. We've actually got a pretty good selection. I'm really pleased about it. I'm thinking hunting is the best way to go with some of the stuff we're going to do. We got... Oh, antibiotics. Never mind. I thought those were purification. See, somebody got the clap up in here. Somebody's got a couple willy warts. Eh. Somebody got themselves a couple uh, roots growing out of the old stem. If you know what I mean. The trunk done picked up a few barnacles. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Well, I'm not sure I can listen to your bitching, so let's just hurry this along. Come on, man. Chair, can I chop up the cushion or anything? I bet I can, but let's take a look at our food supply here because I needs to eat. We're going to eat the peanut butter first because pound for pound, dollar for dollar, that's going to get us going faster. We can eat the sardines, no problem. That's not hard. Then I'll probably drink one of these guys right here just to finish off ye old meter. And then the rest of it is just flat out gains with a capital Z. Inside the fridge, it doesn't look like we have anything unfortunately we have gamey venison all right is it food it's a giant hunk of meat that you just pulled out of the freezer man i feel like you should know that as like when you pull out a steak you're like what is this device what hath mankind wrought to put such a beautiful object in my hands oh wondrous chuck you are so delicious your steak forever rolling about my mouth Blah, 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 blah. Newsprint, okay. Oh, really, you can make band-aids out of cloth. That's cool. I'll make some old man's beard band-aids real fast. A little dark in here, but I think we'll probably find a couple. Of the game is called The Long Dark, after all. Okay, nothing inside of there. Let me break out a light source real fast. Just in case there's rifle rounds laying around or anything like that. Very, very easy to miss a lot of the time. Long job. I really don't want clothing. Like, in the beginning of the game, 
it seemed like an okay idea to stack up tons and tons of clothing, but at this point, oh, I didn't even have to repair that other sweater. I could have done better. Lantern fuel, a little bit of that right there. Nothing inside the sink. As far as antibiotics go, we've got an emergency stim, a short burst of energy, and then you collapse from exhaustion. A last resort. Water purification tablets, very, very nice. That'll help out for the acquisition of water in the short term at the end of the game. If I get to the point where all I have time to do is boil off a bunch of water, but not actually purify it, throwing the tablets in there probably be a great way to wind up with a ton of extra supplies. I may break down some furniture in here while I'm in the neighborhood. I mean, it does say that we needed... Oh, it's going to take two hours to do that. That represents a pretty good caloric... Ah, oh, shit, I used up all my lantern fuel, too, because I'm an idiot. I do it every time, too. It's so consistent, that screw-up. Oh, it automatically put it all in my inventory. Okay. Sounds good. Only an hour of daylight left. Uh, we'll stay here for tonight, actually. I'm not going to bail out on this location. No point. Instead, we'll spend some time breaking down the furniture, because we need reclaimed wood back at the base. In order for all this to work out for us. I'm going to throw down on like... Uh, no, actually. I will drink water first. That's just one kilo of meat. Okay. Let's go in on a little bit of rest here. We should be able to no problem get back to base before anything else goes wrong. And frankly, if we come across a wolf or anything else like that, it's a great opportunity for us to make travel rations by shooting his ass. So... Let's pass time for a couple of hours. There we go. Drink a couple of these sodas. Just to give myself a light freshening up as far as supplies go. Cup of tea. Not a bad plan. Sitting around inside of there. Probably not doing us much use anyways. Tons and tons and tons of cups of tea, actually. I'm going to eat the condensed milk. The rest of it can go back to... God, why does it take you so long to open a can, man? Sounds like we got a hell of a storm upside. As my mother would say, a humdinger. Humdinger of a storm outside. Let's have a look. Yeah, definitely look like a little bit of something, something's going on out here, but we're actually only at minus two resistance, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. We've still got the capacity to sprint, just barely. Let's get the gun out, please, in case the wolf is over here. I would hate to have to unload on him. But food is food, dinner is dinner, and all that sort of thing. Supposedly, carnivores don't taste that good. Something that I've read around is that like, if you kill like a puma... Like a jaguar or whatever, like, yeah, you can eat them, but apparently it's none too pleasant. I hate to use up my energy right now at this point of the game, too. We need more sticks. I think I dumped 20-something uh, sticks inside the house. If we can start hitting, if we can just be the lord of the stick here, I would love to start moving in that direction so that we can focus our efforts almost completely on acquiring other things. No kidding. Hell of a storm, too. Aw, oh, shit balls. I don't like it when the uh, when the wolves approach you over hills and shit, because they go up and down really, really rapidly. As far as first aid goes, treat our wounds there. That should handle it to the point where we don't really need to worry about anything. What a waste of a shot. Jesus. Now we only got five bullets left. He'll bleed out. We'll follow the blood trail in a little bit. The worst part is that that probably wrecked up all of my clothing. Well, that's not good. Oh, good. The game actually knows. That's fantastic. I've actually never seen any of these bugs happen before, strangely enough. 
I don't know why I'm falling through the earth so much. Huh. Strange. I don't normally think of this game as being very buggy. But there it is. Okay. Well, let me go out and back in. That'll save the game. I'll try reloading and see if that fixes it. Or if for whatever reason we're still just going to keep falling through the floor. Resetting the game fixed it right back up. I can walk around again, so it's not a big deal. I've got my pile, so if you're looking at my supplies over here, I've got a pretty good pile going on on this side. I'm going to drop all those sticks, all that reclaimed wood. Just get it out of my inventory right now. Food and everything else goes. I'm okay. I'm not in, like, super fantastic shape. But, you know, every single little bit of something... So there we go. That puts us at about a week's worth of food. We're halfway there with food. We're most of the way there with sticks, with reclaimed wood. We're getting closer as well. Matches were 100% done. Bandages are going to take some effort, but tearing clothes apart should make that reasonably easy. I wasn't aware that that was something I was going to have to be looking for. So with the extra stuff, what we'll do is we'll harvest these to get as much cloth out as possible. Probably take a nap today, then run down the street. Track that wolf. See if, perhaps, he dropped dead so that I can harvest off of him. He should. He should bleed out all by his lonesome out there. Just cold and alone. Like the little bastard that he is. The little betrayer that he might be. Wolves are normally not that brazen by themselves. I actually personally think they could change the wolf mechanic and make it so that there are packs of wolves that range. They go in between the maps and everything like that. And the packs of wolves should be a really, really severe thing. Solo wolves should run away from you, though, if you make a loud noise. I mean, if you, like, run towards them, they should just bail because most animals aren't going to stand up to a human by themselves. There are animals that will, but in general, as a rule, animals are pretty jumpy about things that they don't understand. It's a survival mechanism. All right, so we got that. As far as crafting goes, let's make some Band-Aids. My clothing is probably all kinds of messed up right now. I don't even think about it. How are my clothes? What's everything looking like? So 95, 93, 95, 98. Actually, the wolf didn't do that much damage, strangely enough. I thought he was going to do more damage. I don't know. Let's get a couple band-aids made. And actually, that's pretty much our band-aid supply right there. As soon as we get done with this, it looks like we're going to have the 10 that we need in order to get by, so... I'll keep collecting Old Man's Beard. But the more bandages we make, the better. I'll probably just carry around the Old Man's Beard one with me in case I'm shitty at shooting like I was last time. Inside this locker, we'll stock up on first aid supplies. So there's that. We will transfer 10 of them. So that that's all good and done and taken care of. As far as antibiotics go, we'll transfer them all. Stim pen, I don't see myself needing that. Nor do I see myself needing that. Good. So where are we sitting on our journal right now? Bandages are done. Matches are done. Still need some more tinder. And that's actually not that hard to do because we can make tinder plugs. Oh, tinder plugs are made out of sticks now. They're not made out of newsprint anymore. Interesting. So do Tinder plugs count as Tinder? I assume they count as Tinder because I got the word Tinder inside of them. So that seems like it would be something that would work. I'm thirsty right now and peckish. Yeah, let's get some Tinder plugs out. And if I can drop like 20 of these inside the crate. We're making good progress today. We're actually finishing off this challenge without too many issues. Five days in, we're getting there. And then everything else is just icing on the cake on top of that. I do appreciate the focus that the challenge gives the game. I need 25 tinder. Okay. That's more than absolutely doable. I don't see any issue with that. So let's transfer all of that over. We've got 18 right there. I'm going to have to leave something behind. Move the newsprint back over because... I do wish there was a command to harvest all at the same time. Like, you could just sit and harvest, like, a stack of, like, 17 things. Okay, so all that's shredded. Easy enough. We'll throw this back inside of here. 
Tinder plug, where you at? There you are. And so that should be another category concluded. Yes? Good. Another category concluded. Reclaimed wood we should be able to get just by chopping shit up in here. And that would be one of those things that you would want to you would want to prep food for first, I guess. Let's go out and see if we can find this wolf. I'm going to look for the blood trail and if we could follow him and run him down, he will have almost assuredly bled out by now, I think, unless they change the way the mechanic worked. Once again, I only play games like every 6 months if they're in early access. And so things have this tendency to like shift the goalposts on me. Like things that used to work no longer work a lot of the time. I'll look around real quick and make sure. So you attack me over here. Let's have a look for a blood trail. So if I was attacked right here... Hmm, he might not be bleeding. I don't see nothing that looks like blood just yet. It's probably him right there. Unfortunately, I'm not super enthused about the prospects of wasting more rounds on him. In general, when you're hunting animals in this game, you want to keep them on a flat surface like a road. It makes them easier to fire at. If they're like bounding up and over things, it's a pain in the ass to land the shot a lot of the time. Let's go hit... Oh, I've got crackers with me. Okay. I will eat those moldy, salty crackers. Those moldy crackers. Venison's moldy, too. Man, everything's got problems around here, don't it? Everything's an issue nowadays. Everything's an issue. I will pick up sticks while we are out and about. Because why not? If I could find some fishing supplies... It would make the gathering food a lot easier, too, because we could just go out and fish for it. We're still stuck looking for bullets, but I think we'll find enough of those. Oh, I don't know. We'll probably have to go over to, uh, my guess would be... We'll probably have to swing out for that one, too. Maybe Mystery Lake. Or maybe that direction, actually. If we go this way, at the... Yeah, I think it's possible that if we go this way, we totally unload our character and we head off in this direction. That'll take us over to the whaling camp. And at the whaling camp, it's really, really possible that we'll find a whole bunch of bullets over there. Because there's like a workshop and a whole bunch of just random stuff. Alright, get moving. We don't have time for this walking business. The uh, sprinting nerf is one of the bigger, more annoying things. I don't know if that's still in the game, but basically they made it like a patch or two ago, three or four patches ago, so that if you sprint, you lose your tiredness a ton, and it takes forever to regenerate if it goes down past like a certain point, and so in general, it basically killed sprinting inside the confines of the game, like basically you just didn't sprint anymore because it was a waste of resources. Or it, it actually decreased the amount of time in between sleeps. Which, that's one of those things that you're already kind of going to battle with in this game, considering you can only carry 30 kilograms, which is like nothing. I... Actually, I'm hoping they add some kind of weight training to the game. Not like sitting down at a weight bench or whatever. But my hope would be that they've considered making it so that if you walk around overburdened a lot of the time, like, yes, you move slower, but they should add a skill to the game for that, too. And each time it levels up, you get, like, an extra 15 kilograms or an extra 10 kilograms or even an extra 5 would be fine. 5 would still be generous enough because let's say you level up 4 times or 5 times and 5 at each iteration. Then you'd be carrying about 55 kilograms on your back, which is still... So, yeah, I had it backwards for whatever reason. I had to go investigate to make sure I wasn't saying something dumb. But, yeah, 30 kilograms is not that much. That's, like, 60 pounds. 60 pounds is like a reasonably heavy backpacking backpack. It's not like horribly... I mean, it's what you aim for. Like 40 to 60 pounds if you're going backpacking is pretty... It's about right. I mean, that's where you want to aim for. If you don't want to be totally uncomfortable the whole time. Or if you're just like an experienced backpacker, you actually have a really strong back, you can go higher. But yeah, 60 pounds is roughly 
30 kilograms in there somewhere, like 65 pounds, which is okay. I mean, it's not that heavy. It's back mounted. It depends if you got one of the backpacks that has like the stomach strap and the chest strap and everything to equalize the weight so it doesn't swing around. If you can equalize it so it doesn't swing around, 60 pounds isn't bad at all. 60 pounds in like a book bag like you had for school sucks ass. I know because I've done it before. An urban parka. A long, heavy down coat. More suitable for urban survivalists, but the extra length might help keep your kidneys warm. I don't think my kidneys are down around my knees. I think my clothing's doing a pretty good job already of protecting my kidneys. I hope. We're going to be stuck here for tonight. This is one of those nights where I just wouldn't sleep. That happened to me one time while I was on a, a big, big hike. We were doing like 15, 20 miles a day with backpacks or whatever. Basically all day. You get up at like 6 a.m. and you hike until about 5 or 6 o'clock. Big, big with like a little break for lunch, like maybe 35 minutes or so. It's pretty, pretty fast paced. With easily probably 30 to 50 pounds on your back. It wasn't too heavy of a pack. But it was enough to where it started, if you didn't have the proper equipment, it started to weigh on you after a couple of hours. And I had a night just like this one where there was like 30 mile an hour winds, rain was coming down sideways, you're sleeping in a tarp tent basically. Lightning, thunder, all that crazy shit. End up getting like an hour of sleep and you still have to hike the same amount the next day. That's what convinced me that I was stronger than I ever thought that I was. Just that experience. Because you you panic about it. I mean, you're like, oh my god, I'm never going to be able to do this. I'm so tired right now. I'm running on no sleep. Like, I have so much work to do today. I have so much hiking to do today. And then you make it. I mean, you make it. And you get back to camp the next day after you do your whatever. You know, your survey or whatever it is you're doing. You catch a couple hour nap. And like, yeah, you're tired. You're probably the tiredest you've ever been in your life. But it's weird. There's like a switch that flicks where your body realizes what's going on and it just like accepts it and it, you can just put it through the ringer. And I don't think most people realize that that's in, like they've got that inside of them. But you do. It's in there. It's that ancient, we used to, that's what human beings used to do back before we were civilized and shit, is we used to chase animals. To slow me down. We'd uh, chase animals until they were so exhausted that they couldn't run from us anymore for like days on end. That's what we used to do. And that's still in there. We haven't out, we haven't evolved away from that. We've gotten lazier because our lives have gotten more convenient. But that uh, that skill is still in there, deep down. It also helps if you got the baseline muscle. Like that's the other part is like, do you have the baseline muscle to perform these feats? And at that point, I was a pretty prolific hiker, and I was lifting weights a lot, and I was you know working out a lot because I knew that the job was going to require me to be in tip-top shape. And so, if you've got the base muscle, it helps too. That's the other part. There were some people, that's the first time, that trip right there was the first time I ever saw like a grown ass man just so exhausted that like mentally he gave out. Like he just like broke down crying like on the middle of the mountain. And like we all understood, like nobody was like, dude stop crying, you're being a little weenie right now, like we get it. Like if you're functioning off like, you've been awake for 36 hours, 40 hours, and during that time you've hiked the equivalent of just an absurd amount to the point where your body's just falling apart. We don't even think, to this day, I don't think he was crying about anything. I think just mentally his mind just gave out. Like, he didn't actively know what he was crying about. I think his mind just gave out because he was so tired and he was just so burned out. And that's what happens, you know? It's just like, it's crazy. It's hella crazy. We're out of time for the day. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for stopping on by and playing a little bit of Long Dark with me. It's always fun to recant tales of my youth. I will see you all when next we meet in. If you've had the chance, take a look at the Patreon. It's a great way to support the channel and make sure it doesn't go under because things are... Meh. YouTube is weird nowadays. What else can I say? I'll see you all later. Hi to everybody.